Hello everyone. This video is going to answer a question from our client. His question is, I have a hard drive that suddenly stopped working, no power signal. What is the problem? Before answer the question, let us take a look of the hard drive basic structure. One hard drive includes two parts, PCB board and the case. The PCB board controls the hard drive to work. The case houses the disk assembly. The power cable is connected to the PCB board directly. So, there are two possible reasons to cause the hard drive no power. 1. Bad power cable. 2. Bad PCB board. Solutions to fix the no power problem hard drives. 1. Fix the bad power cable problem. Connect the hard drive to another computer or to another external hard drive case to fix the bad power cable problem. 2. Fix bad PCB board problem. We can swap or fix the PCB board. To fix the bad PCB board problem, the rest of this video we are going to talk about it in detail. Replacing the bad components on the PCB board is one way to fix the PCB board. Sometimes the job is easy, sometimes the job is not easy. Not all the damages on the PCB board are visible. Special equipments are needed to find out the damage. Hello everyone. This video is going to talk about how to swap the hard drive PCB board to rescue a hard drive. This video covers the following five things. 1. Find the correct donor board. 2. What is the PCB board firmware, also called PCB board BIOS? 3. Does the board needs to do the firmware transfer. 4. What to do if the board firmware is in an independent memory chip? 5. What to do if the board firmware is integrated into the main IC? Find the correct donor board. 1. Locate the hard drive model number. 2. Locate the PCB board number. Go to www.hdd-parts.com. Input the model number and the board number to search for the correct donor board. What is the PCB board firmware, also called PCB board BIOS? For the most hard drives, why do we have to do the PCB board from a transfer before swapping the PCB board? 1. One hard drive PCB board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. 2. The firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. Regarding the hard drive PCB board from a transfer, we have two things we want to mention. One, PCB board from a transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The PCB board firmware transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from one board to another board. Hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It nothing to do with another hard drive or another PCB board. Two. We can do the PCB board firmware transfer from the physically damaged 
PCB board, like a burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our PCB board from a transfer success rate is more than 95%. Does your PCB board need to do the firmware transfer? Some old model hard drives do not have BIOS issue. So, if you can find a compatible PCB board, you may swap the PCB board directly. Each model hard drive PCB board compatibility criteria is different. You may go to www.hdd-parts.com to check out your PCB board compatibility. What to do if the board firmware is in an independent memory chip? For most of the modern hard drives, the PCB boards have BIOS on it. If the BIOS is in the memory chip, we have to swap the memory chip before swapping the PCB board. What to do if the board firmware is integrated into the main IC? If the BIOS is integrated into the main IC, we have to swap the main IC before swapping the PCB board. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board BIOS, and the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board BIOS are in the independent memory chip, like the first picture shows. Some PCB board's BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drive PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware, we have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of this kind of boards. If you have any questions, such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the BIOS transfer, where is the BIOS of your PCB board? How to swap your PCB board? Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients sent in their PCB board. Two, we fix the PCB board. Three, we ship back the PCB board to the clients. This picture shows how the clients ship their PCB board to us to do firmware transfer. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.